just a heck of a college baseball game. Uh, I mean, I've taught two teams really competing their, their butts off. Uh, in the end, you know, the, the freebies, uh, the battle of the freebies, which is traditionally what it comes down to in college baseball. Fortunately, we won today. They, they dominated us yesterday in their attack. We were able to just grind in that seventh inning after a lot of close calls, some great plays by them, uh, in particular their third baseman. Uh, just uh, what, a, what a great play with the bases loaded. You kind of think off the bat, maybe we got three run, you know, double from Mock and, and their guy, you know, Arenado's in, hook slides and gets the guy out at first. And uh, it could be easy to say, here we go again. Uh, but our guys didn't do that. Luke kept attacking the zone, put another zero up. And then we reassessed there in the seventh and, and, and found a way. And then the bullpen was just tremendous today. Uh, you know, you look at it, three guys, Luke, Ross did a great job coming in there in the seventh, and then JD, AKs, no walks. It puts you in a good position for success when that happens. Coach, you talked about the bad, the battle of the freebies, and you know you guys give up zero walks. They gave up eight, obviously quite a few there in that seventh inning, and then also no errors on, on your team's part. Just talk about just the clean and efficient play from your pitchers, as well as just the defense as a whole. Yeah, I thought there was some really unsung, simple plays. I thought Trey was really good at short. He had a variety of balls. Watts was very cool and calm at second base. Uh, Cole on the shallow tag up play. Um, not that it's an easy play, but it's one like if you just play pitch and catch, the guy's going to be out. And we did it right, and he executed his throw. That was a big time play. Um, I, you know, I just thought we handled the game, and Brooks blocked the baseball as he's supposed to block. And, uh, you know, that put us in a position to, to do what we did. And, and we had to earn it a little bit different uh, in that seventh inning. We didn't, you know, thump the ball around whatsoever, but we took what the game gave us. And if you take what the game gives you many times, you, you, you do get rewarded. And uh, I thought our toughness prevailed in that. And we're going to need a lot more of it tomorrow because, as you very well know, I mean, Texas State is an incredibly talented team. And, and they're going to be in, very hungry to, to redeem themselves coming back tomorrow afternoon. Uh, Coach, elephant in the room here today. I mean, you have coached the home run king of Troy now and now the RBI king in Brooks Bryan. I mean, obviously, it didn't come in the most uh, fashionable way, but it came one way, and that was via an eight-pitch battle uh, that came in a walk. Just talk about yeah, Brooks Bryan. I mean, Brooks is just tremendous, and, of course, we think the world of him and what he's doing. Uh, but I thought that walk was so good. He took some good swings on the heater. Uh, you know, it's a three-one game, and yeah, with the wind blowing in from right, but he can you know, he can cut the teeth of of any wind, just kind of like their guy Ramirez. Those you know big strong lefties that can get the ball with that true flight can do that. And so they went with that little you know cutter breaking ball three-two, and just to be disciplined enough to to pass it on to Trey to make it uh, you know three-two, and then obviously Trey and, and everyone else doing their job after was tremendous, but. In the end, if you want to be good at RBIs, you got to be good at simple stuff. Sometimes it's the walk, sometimes it's HBP, sometimes it's a sack fly. Uh, that's what good run producers do, and and he's he's one of the you know better ones that we've certainly seen. And I'm, I'm happy for him to have that record. But uh, as they say, records are meant to be broken, and hopefully he can he can substantiate and continue to add on to it as we go. Uh, Coach, we talk about discipline, and I think discipline of the mind was, has been big over these past couple days. The traveling was, you know, fighting through the tornado uh, a couple days ago, and then obviously a team that ranks high in the nation in terms of scoring consistently. I mean, you just has been defensive uh, these past two games. So talk about the mental discipline of this team after last night uh, to come into today and to prove it. Whatever goes on with our team as we go, uh, I was telling Barry on the radio, we're going to take everything one day at a time. And I know I say that till probably everyone's blue in the face, but that's just the way that our program, and that's part of our system. However, to me, it, it is truly going to be how free can our minds be, how confident can we remain, um, how in the moment, how present can we be as a group and not let outside distractions, uh, numbers, selfish. We don't have selfishness, but those things that can – can, can infiltrate a team of mind in baseball when you're playing in, in May. We have to avoid all of that. And, and I, I know we have the guys to do that. And I know that we have the coaching staff and the support staff to do that. We just have to keep our guys in the right um, in the right mind frame. We haven't won a lot of games like this when we only had four hits. I mean, they still executed very well on us. But in the end, you just have to find a way to win a lot of ways. You got to be open. Real winners, real winning teams are chameleons. They can do it a, a, a lot of ways with a lot of different looks. And today was a different look for us. So that should give us confidence that we can we can win the five to three game or the four to two game that may happen. Um, because you can't just do it 
one you know singular way. Coach, final question. Now it's split one game apiece. Uh, just what's the game plan going into into game three tomorrow for the series? I mean, I think the game plan is, is is on the mound. We need to make sure that the information we've been presented over 18 innings we utilize and, and execute. And we'll have mostly all hands on deck from a, a, a bullpen perspective. We'll figure out uh, exactly what we'll do starting wise here in a little bit after we uh, you know kind of. Work from, Relax for a minute uh, from a from a fun competitive game, but uh, you know I think tomorrow is going to be a very different setup in terms of the weather and the wind, and uh, hopefully that can clear guys up to be the best version of themselves offensively. And uh, we just got to remain clean defensively. I thought that was really it was a really good day for us on all ends, and uh, we just need more of that uh, to get a series tomorrow.